Good day fellow investors, today I want to share with you my top 10 favorite investing books. There will be something for beginners, but there will be also something very important also for advanced investors. So stay tuned, let's go through the 10 books I think are crucial for any investor to read. The first book, Greg A. Arnold, The Great Investors. So this is not such a famous book, but it is an essential book, I think, for beginners because it discusses all the investing strategies applied from the great investors in the past. You have, of course, Buffett, Munger, Lynch, Soros, Templeton and other less famous, very successful UK investors like Neff or Bolton. So very easy read uh, for beginners. I really, really recommend this book, which is not on the most famous books, but a great book to start to see about different investing strategies that boil down always to value, to quality, to great businesses as Buffett started the era. So really, really good book for a read. Number two, do I need to say much about this? Benjamin Graham, I have a complete playlist. I will finish it soon with the summary of the book. So if you don't want to read the book, because it's a great book, but it was written in 1972. So the mindset is still there, but a lot of things are a little bit obsolete. So I made a playlist, a complete list. We are now at chapter 17. So you have the full summary of the book. You will have it soon in the next month, I hope here on the YouTube channel. So check that summary if you prefer listening or video or if you prefer me explaining what's in the book in a little bit easier comprehensive language than what the book uses from the 1970s. Nevertheless, if you love reading, crucial, essential book to read. And if you just get your hands on it from the library, chapter eight and chapter 20 is according to Buffett, all you need to know for investing. Now you'll say, Sven, what are you presenting this clown for investing purposes? Well, this clown works hard and he wrote this book, Money Master the Game, which is crucial for investors because, okay, save more, uh, pay off your credit cards. That's crucial for accumulating wealth through time. But Anthony Robbins knows a lot of people and he can get to the right people. So he has interviewed in this book, Kyle Bass, Carl Icahn, uh, Templeton is in the book, Ray Dalio, Paul Tudor Jones, that he has been coaching for a very, very long time. I believe it's more than 20 years, one of the greatest traders in the world. So he is what he is. Everything that's written here holds, but he gets to the right people. So if you're an advanced investor, reading through those interviews, through that mindset will always be a nice thing to read. Plus, I think all the money from the book goes to charity. So it's a zero loss, huge upside, just if you get a few intelligent wo words of wisdom from the great investors that he interviewed. Now, a book, Modern Value Investor from Sven Karlin. It's a guy that I know pretty well, so my, it might be a little bit biased, but it's a great book because, as I said, Benjamin Graham was written in 1971. And since then we have had the margin of safety, but not much such, not much books on value investing and not much books that approach value investing from the modern way in an easier language than what it is with the intelligent investor. So I have put in essential value investing tools. So unlike this, which is more theoretical, this is practical with 25 tools to really apply when analyzing a stock. On top of it, I have discussed behavioral finance, modern port portfolio, behavioral finance, modern portfolio strategies, gold hedges, all weather portfolio, and hyperbolic discounting and things like that, that really put a modern perspective on the modern value investment environment. So I think you will really enjoy it. The feedback from those that bought the book was amazing. So I really can recommend this book now among the top 10 books to read for investors. And now a book that is really amazing and extremely important for everyone, whether you're a trader, investor, whatever. And this is Daniel Kahneman, Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow. That explains the behavioral ways we think whenever we do something. The next book that I will write will be uh, based on Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast 
and thinking slow for investors. When I get the time, when I get the will to write another book, that will be my next book. But it's a pretty heavy read, so uh, it is a Nobel Prize winner, so don't expect uh, fairy tales, but every paragraph, if you have the will to read it, is filled with as eternal wisdom about how our mind works and how you can apply that mind on investing. Until I write my book based on his principles, based of, on what he found, how our mind works, that's the only option for now. If you have the time and if you love reading, it's a great read. I think it's 700, 7800 pages, but it's Warren Buffett's life that he discussed with, with, with Alice Schroeder and they wrote all his stories, all his investing stories. And I think this book is crucial because it really shows how a portfolio, how invest is built over a lifetime, how investing goes over a lifetime. It's not about who, what stock to buy in the next two quarters like everybody else is thinking about. It's about a lifetime building value, great businesses, buying dividends, buying at the margin of safety, uh, dealing with issues, dealing with trouble, and how Warren Buffett went across it. So if you want to know Warren Buffett, apart from everything else that's said on YouTube or wherever, this is really the way to know Warren Buffett in depth and really learn how he did what he did. There is so much in it from the stories. Another book, I forgot it here, I don't know, it probably on the shelf still there, there. Uh, Market Wizards, so that's interviews with traders. Now, why would I recommend the book that talks about traders? It's even an older book because it gets you a perspective on how the market works because the market is so irrational that even if you are a value investor, a great business owner, you trade from time to time and you want to take advantage of the markets trading irrationalities, what great traders usually do. So I really recommend this book, especially if you're a trader, but even if you're just an investor, to better understand how the market works. To better understand how the market works, the market cycles, and how to ta take advantage of those self-reinforcing cycles, The Alchemy of Finance, this is in Croatian, this was the first investing book I read, I must have read it 10 times over my lifetime, so uh, check George Soros, it's a hard read, but it's worth it. So it's a lot to understand from hedges, from test, market testing, how the market works. He's not a great narrator, but he is a multi-billionaire that trashed every other investor. So a lot to learn from him. And now one of my favorite authors that will blow your mind if you haven't read him and uh, don't read it if you're happy with how things are in your portfolio. If you want to be hedged, if you want to protect yourself against the unknown, if you want to make a lot of money on the unknown by betting small parts of your portfolio, then this is the book for you. So we have Antifragile, we have of course the Black Swan and Skin in the Game, which is the last book, but uh, I think there are two free pages for investors. So you can really focus on the Black Swan and on Antifragile. How to build a portfolio that is uh, protected from black swans that happen much more often than you might think and how to also build that portfolio so that it gains when things go bad. So not robust portfolio, that's, that doesn't exist, that it is anti-fragile, so when it starts shaking you get higher. So I love Taleb, really really nice books, really nice uh, ways of explaining things, the stories from Fat Tony, from how things really work in the world. So you might want to uh, check his all trilogy and the Inserto uh, books. So please do that and enjoy your read. Please share this if you have any investors that are looking for uh, books to read. If you know any beginner investors, always you can tell them start with books. If you're a beginner investor, read at least 10, 15 books about investor investing and that will be give you a better perspective on whatever you do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best investing books in 2018. Now, uh, I made a video about this in the past, but I guess it's like an updated version because I've you know read through a couple books and I'm only going to talk about books that I've obviously read myself before so and then or else I wouldn't really be able to give them a very good review. But um, anyways, there's four books in total. Two of them I talked about in the past um, because I still think they're good investing books and two are kind of new ones that I didn't talk about before that I kind of recently read. Now, the first one definitely isn't the best on the list by any means. It's probably the worst one on the list right here, but um, this one is Stock Investing for Beginners, How to Buy Your First Stock and Grow Your Money by John Roberts. And um, I didn't know who he was before this. I guess he's like the CEO of some company that I've never heard of. It's like Live and Learn and Prosper. Um, it's kind of just an investing company, I guess. But um, this book, if you Google like investing or stock investing for beginners or something like that on Amazon, it'll be the first book that probably comes up. Now, one thing to note about this book, it is like definitely not the best one I've read, but it's like a decent one for if you know absolutely nothing about investing and you want to like start investing, you know, in a couple, like in a day or something like that, and you want to just get right to it. Uh, it's very, very short. It's only like, I mean, it's literally like 70 pages or something like that. So I read it in like a couple of hours. It's not even 70 pages. It's like, if you look at, you know, minus all the back the resources and like to like uh introduction and stuff i mean it's literally 60 pages and the words on the page like there's not that many words on the pages and the pages are kind of big like this is what the text actually looks like and this book is definitely if you know anything about investing or know the basics to it like how to set up a brokerage account how to like pick and choose buy and sell stocks then this book definitely is not for you but if you are brand new to investing and have never ever learned anything about it and have no idea what a brokerage is or how stocks work or anything like that um then you could consider getting this one and it was pretty cheap on amazon i think it was only a few bucks but um one thing to note i think this book is so highly bought on amazon and like is at the top of the search rankings because the author or whoever you know published it or whatever is probably pretty good at seo it's not actually because it's one of the best books out there but um i've had people ask me about this one that's why i actually bought this one and read it really quickly but um it literally took me i think like a half hour to an hour to read it and um all it really talks about is you know why invest in stocks basic information about the stock market, how to find good stocks, which is very, very basic and really doesn't say a whole lot about it. Um, what you need to get started, which I think is kind of helpful, like how to choose a brokerage, but it is slightly outdated. Um, you know, how to buy and sell stocks, which is pretty basic. Uh, you know, how to protect your stocks, um, kind of like diversification, stuff like that. And then that's really it. It doesn't go into depth and about anything at all. Each chapter is only a couple of pages and it's basically more of like a guide than anything than like an actual read but um anyway so that's this book i'm gonna put the link in the description for all the um books as well so that's the first one stock investing for beginners um the second one is rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and this book's a lot better known than um that one and yes this this specific one doesn't have to do i guess specifically with the stock market and investing but it does have to do with like overall personal finance as well as more investing in general not necessarily in the stock market but you could apply the same ideas and philosophies of this book um i recently read this book actually and i just finished it so that's kind of why i'm making this video as well because i just finished both these books and this is definitely one of the best personal finance books out there in general and why i think this like relates to the stock market and investing more is because a lot of people when they're investing in the stock market one thing they struggle with is actually coming up with the money or like putting aside money to put into their portfolio um, which i don't struggle with and i do like a really good job of that and i definitely don't make a whole lot of money compared to some of these people probably watching this video right now and i think that i did a lot of stuff that this book like talks about beforehand but um this book talks about a lot of good ways to really save money and how to like um, make money work for you and how to like you know get out of the rat race and stuff like that it goes into a lot more depth than actually just investing but there's definitely a great read for anyone who's interested in making money or investing in the stock market or just like trying to figure out their personal finance if you're struggling with um, adding more funds to your portfolio which a lot of people do um, this book is probably the best like overall book on this list like just like read wise it, you don't have to like be worried about the stock market to read this really anyone can read this if you you know have a job or don't want to have your job anymore or just are interested in how to like better um, 
better have or have better personal finance i should say but anyways rich dad poor dad there's like a couple different versions of it and i actually like this one the best because it has like little um summaries at the end of each chapter and it has little like write-in things almost which is kind of cool so if you're interested in that um definitely down, definitely buy this specific one i think again it was only like 10 less than 15 bucks i think it was like 10 or 9 bucks or something like that if you buy the hard copy so i'll put the link to that in the description as well now the next book I'll be talking about which i've talked about in the past and this is probably the best book i think for beginner investors and really any investors is the little book of common sense investing by john c bogle and john c bogle is you know former ceo founder of vanguard mutual fund um so he's a really big um investor probably one of the biggest names in the um, 20th century him munger buffett probably the top three in my opinion uh, this book isn't very long once again it's longer than like the other one but um, it's only like 200 pages or so and honestly the pages are relatively small it's not like a, not a whole lot of writing like a normal novel or anything like that so it probably shouldn't take you a whole long a whole while to read but i think this one's really great because it talks more about not necessarily like this other book like how to invest or like how to start investing but it talks about when you're actually investing what's probably the best thing to do with your funds or with your money now one thing to note um john bogle basically created the mutual fund which like in you know recent in the past 10 20 years or whatever has probably replaced the index fund for the most part and in this book he like widely argues for his fund well not necessarily his fund i guess but for funds like his and i think there's a bit of a bias in this book which is okay obviously i don't think he's necessarily like sold this book or wrote this book to try to make money for his firm but um there's definitely a very very clear bias so take note of that while you're reading it don't go out and buy vanguard's fund just because you read this book right away because that might not necessarily be the best way to invest or might not be the best way you want to invest but um anyway still overall a really great book he kind of shows like what the best way to invest is not just by saying it but by you know adding stories to it and showing a lot of statistical data to kind of back that up but at the same time it's not like a textbook it's a pretty relatively easy read and i think he does a really good job of basically pretty much saying that there's no chance that you're going to beat the s p 500 so you might as well buy into the s p 500 unless you're pretty good at investing it's kind of saying if you're an average investor um what makes the most sense while investing is simply investing in a fund which is his but now with etfs they're much lower ratios and this book was written before the Robinhood app came out so now with the Robinhood app you could essentially make your own fund and same with them on finance actually um you could essentially make your own fund without having to pay any expense ratio and without having to like deal with um the brokerages like you know whether they're active investors or passive investors in their funds um not having to deal with stuff like that so uh some of the ideas in this book are like very slightly outdated like literally to the past year or two but um i, I that's not like a huge deal i still think it has a lot of good resources and a lot of great information in it. but anyways moving on to the last book is the intelligent investor by benjamin graham and this is like the updated edition of it so that's why it is like insanely long because there's like commentary sections in this but you can like totally skip through this i think they're after every single chapter but um i skipped that i didn't actually read that because that would just take like an insanely long amount of time but i mean this book says it's like five 600 pages almost but in reality it's probably like closer to half of that so it's not nearly as long as it s seems but i did skim through some of the commentaries and they're not bad by any means but um i like you know obviously the original reading's probably a lot better um once again one of the benjamin graham really brilliant investor um it's been you know highly um praised by other investors as well like warren buffett and munger and such but um this book is definitely more of a difficult read than the other three i had there and it's not necessarily as much like story like it is story to it like the other ones i kind of like because they integrated stories to it to make it a little bit more of an interest read so it's not more of a textbook read but this one is definitely more of a sort of textbook read not just because the, honestly the length and like the other one the words were kind of bigger and like it was honestly just a quicker read this one will definitely take a while but because of that it probably has a lot more information in it 
but um, if you are reading this, it definitely will take quite a bit longer. I mean, the other ones I only read in like a few days. This one I it took me a couple of weeks to read at least. And this is definitely a whole lot more about like value investing and how to actually be a smart investor. And it honestly taught me a whole lot. I think um, all these books have, but this one information wise about the actual stock market and what stocks to pick and choose teaches you a whole lot. And I don't think he has a whole lot of bias in this compared to um, um, Bogle's book, but um, this is really a great read, but this one will definitely take longer and I would probably consider reading the other two first, especially if you're a beginner investor. This is more about you got your brokerage account going, um, you got some stocks to choose, you know, you're buying some stocks, you know, you might not be doing the best, but then you kind of want to figure out how do I go to that next level of investing and how do I actually figure out how to focus on, you know, what kind of investor I want to be. But he definitely has an emphasis on value investing versus other investing strategies. I haven't actually read any book ever that was actually good that promoted like growth strategy or like small, even, eh, I shouldn't say small cap strategy, but um, I mean, Pretty much most of the books you're going to read about investing are going to promote growth strategy and like dividend investing more safer routes and probably the ones that'll end up with better returns but anyways guys that's it for the video like i said the links to these books are in the description once again the books that i talked about were the intelligent investor by benjamin graham um the little book of common sense investing by john c bogle rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and stock investing for beginners by john roberts but Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, um, definitely hit that like button and comment below what investing books you've read or what you think about these books if you have read them before. And other than that, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I talk about investing in the stock market and really anything that has to do with money. So if you're interested in anything like that, definitely head around to my channel and consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Good day, fellow investors. Now, many investors look for a certain formula, a certain metric that they can follow and that does well. I have a PhD, I have analyzed lots of formulas, lots of metrics and none does well. What works in investing? And you will see also if you follow the Buffets, the Soros's, you will see it's that it is the mindset. If you find a mindset and you have to build it over a few years, a decade even better then you will immediately see okay this is a good investment this is a bad investment now how to develop a profitable investment mindset the, the best way is to read books because books allow us to get a systemized view on the complete knowledge great investors offer and thankfully we can really buy books on the cheap today so an investing book is the best investment I would recommend. And today I'll discuss my top seven investing books, which I think is a must read for both a trader and investor. So let me immediately start with the first book. It is Nassim Taleb's Black Swan. Now, why would I start an investment list with a philosophical book? Well, first, Nassim Taleb made a lot of money by trading options. So he's a trader. Secondly, you will learn so much about uncertainty in the world, about how randomness affects our lives, and then about how to look for black swans that will affect your investment returns in a positive way. So extreme events that affect our investment returns. I must warn you, this book will change the way you see things and change the way you approach investing. So be very careful when you read it. However, I'm sure that in the next 10, 20 years, if you apply what happens in this book, you can really lower your risks and tenfold, 20 fold your potential returns. It's a bit philosophical. It's a very enjoyable read. So I really, really recommend it. I have read it a few times. So I'll also make a summary of the book and publish a video here so you can see my view on what's most important from this book. The second book I really enjoyed is Market Wizards. Now you will say why would a value investor like me recommend a book about pure trading? Well this book showed me how first trading can also be a very good investment strategy. You just have to be good at it. Then this book 
contains lots of interviews with traders and the funny thing is that most of the traders interviewed in this book first lost their money and they were wiped out even a few times and only when they learned enough about how the market works then they managed to become very very profitable and consistent over a longer period of time. So essential on, not only for traders but also for investors to see what are the options and how can money be made with various different investing and trading strategies. So always remember the goal is always to lower the risks and increase potential returns. This book really gives an insight into how to do that by applying trading strategies. Excellent read. Okay, this book might surprise you. What the hell do I recommend Anthony Robbins as an investment book? Well, Anthony Robbins, as crazy as he might be, he interviewed the top 50 investors in the world from traders, from bond investors, from Warren Buffett and put all that knowledge into one 600 page book. Also what's very interesting in this book he managed to get Ray Dalio to describe his all-weather strategy and how to rebalance around it. So by reading this book you can see what others have been doing, the 50 best investors in the world, see what fits best your personal affinity and then learn much more, go deeper where you want to go deeper. However, just the Ray Dalio approach is worth the money. And then I think all the proceeds of the book are given to charity, so it's a good investment and a good buy. The third book I have, and this is the first book I read about finance. I don't know how, I think I was 15 or 16 years old and this book was in my living room on a shelf Nobody probably read it. It was there because my father got some financing from Soros probably. But, and it's in a different language, so don't look at the cover. However, George Soros's Alchemy of Finance is really a master book because it explains how the market mind works, how you can read the market, and how the market influences fundamentals, which is very important also for investors because everything reflects something else. So the theory of reflexivity is very important to understand how the market works. George Soros, he made a 26% return per year over 40 years. I would definitely listen to the guy. It's a bit complicated, much more complicated than the other books, but I think I have been reading this book for five, six times now, and I always, learn something new. I'll also make a video about my view on this book in detail. The next book I want to recommend is The Great Investors. Now, Professor Glenn Arnold again summarizes how the best investors of our times invested during the last 50 years. Of course, there are Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, George Soros, which are famous. But what's the value of this book? I think the highest value of this book is that it interviews also other people. Anthony Bolton, Philip Fisher, Peter Lynch, John Templeton, John Neff, which gives a different perspective, which shows you that there are other people out there, not only Buffett's who made money over time, and that they have different investing strategies that all worked. So again, you have to see what is the best investing strategy for you. Number six, of course, it would be a crime not to put this book on any investment reading list. The Intelligent Investor, essential knowledge for the value investor, essential knowledge to see how the market works in the short term, how it affects the long term, and how earnings and the fundamentals always prevail in the long term. Benjamin Graham, Buffett's teacher, and the founder of the value investing stream, so an essential, essential read. The seventh book, I don't have it with me because it sells on Amazon for a thousand dollars and if I would have it, I would copy it and sell it on Amazon because I prefer to invest the one thousand dollars in stocks. However, Seth Klarman's Margin of Safety is one of the best investing books out there. If you can get it somehow, if you can borrow it from a library or 
If not, you can always look to our to my videos summaries of the book. So at least somehow to get the knowledge about Seth Klarman and his extremely interesting value investing style. There are more videos about Seth Klarman on this channel, so feel free to watch them. So these are essential investing books from my perspective in order to make constant, profitable investment, low risk, high reward investment decisions. If you have any other books that you would recommend, please leave them in the comments below. There is nothing better than an investing book. You read, you enjoy reading, it's a funny thing to read, most of the books are very well written and you learn a lot. In the long term you create a blueprint that allows you to lower your risks and increase your returns. I mean, for just 20 bucks you can talk to Soros every day or to Buffett, so I the value in books is extreme. Thank you for watching, leave your comments below, any suggestions, any ideas, questions about the books. I will make a video, a summary of my opinion on these books for every one of those books. I'm now reading The Black Swan again, writing notes to make a video. So be sure to subscribe to continue getting these videos in your feed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.